Well, I've got to say, I'm genuinely excited at this moment because uh, I've got here a nice handful of plantings. And a lot of people get confused. They think, you know, it's an overripe banana. No, nothing's further from the truth. This is planting. It's got its own unique taste. Um, I'm going to do my um, very, very simple. I'm just going to get a bit of planting and wrapped in bacon. So, kind of planting bacon rolls, really. S simply going to cut that. Now, if you're doing your plant planting, just run your knife very, very gently down it like that. Okay, you can see I'm not penetrating, it's a sharp knife. And then you can get in there and that will just kind of all just peel off nice and easy like that. You see that? And it doesn't matter if you actually cut into it a little bit. Um, and don't be put off by those kind of black marks because that is, all that is, is sweetness. That's the sugar in the planting coming to the surface. So sometimes you'll see them and they'll be completely black. That means they're gonna be very, very sweet. If you get them slightly green, that's really good for something called planting crisp. So you can literally slice it and some people like to soak it in milk and then they deep, you know, take it out and sort of deep fat fry it. Make sure you pat it dry, of course. And then you get wonderful planting crisp. But I'm gonna do something slightly different here. I'm just cutting the planting into quite big chunks, all right? especially if you can pick it up uh, relatively reasonably priced, which I'm sure you'll be able to. If you've got a uh, African or West Indian community around you, people still love this type of stuff. So that's the, that's the area to go to buy it. And I'm making sure that the, can you see that? The actual seal there, if you like, the join I'm popping underneath. Not imperative, if it unrolls, it's not gonna be the end of the world, but try and get that underneath. Once again, roll that up, there it is, that little flap that goes down. You roll them up. I've got a few done here. I'm just gonna pop that in the oven, preheat the oven. That's 180 degrees centigrade. Pop that in for 25 or 30 minutes. So you can pop it in for 20, take them out, and then turn the oven right up and then crisp them up a little bit. I've got some in there now, and I'm gonna serve that on top of a lovely watercress salad with a little bit of homemade uh, salsa, but I'll show you how to do that in a sec. Oh yeah. I'm just rolling these around. And you talk, see what I mean about the sweetness? Look at that. You can see the sugar is actually starting to come out there. Nothing wrong in that. Lots of lovely flavor in there. I've got some uh, pepper sauce here. Like, any pepper sauce that you've got, you might just have some in the fridge. You know what it's like, you kind of have it there and it stays there looking at you um, for, for a while. <laughs> but it does in my house anyway, because I've got so much variety. So, um, a couple of uh, tomatoes that I'm just going to uh, chop up here. And uh, literally, I'm just going to chop this up quite roughly. And so whatever tomatoes you've got lurking around in your fridge, that's, uh, that's really what I'm talking about. Just to give it a bit of texture. So when that goes on the top, it's going to look really, really nice. Just chop through that. Quite rustic, that's really what you're looking for, keep it in a nice sort of rustic style. Bit of uh, chopped mint from the, uh, if you're fortunate enough like me, to have a, a little garden. Uh, what have I got here? I've got a little bit of spring onion, which I had uh, left over, chopped it up for something else. I had a little bit of spring onion left over, uh, which we sometimes do at home, you know, if you're lurking around, just use it. So I'm gonna take that into my little pepper sauce. All of that goes in there, the mint, the basil, the spring onion. I'm just gonna stir that through. And I'm gonna finish that off uh, with just a, give it that kind of real, kind of West Indian feel about it, you know. Take a little bit of lime and squeeze a little bit of lime on it. We'll work that in the Caribbean, you do it that way. In a hurry, you do it that way, there you go. There. Okay, get that lime going in there. Beautiful, through like that. And you transformed a very simple pepper sauce into something really quite beautiful. Just going to lay those uh, beautiful pl bacon planting rolls on top of our watercress salad. There you go. And just, uh, just a little bit of that on the top like that. And there you go. Isn't that lovely? Welcome to Barbados.